Hi, my name is Nina Shoemaker. I'm a lawyer with Legal Aid of Northwest Texas. I'm here with Anesha Sankar, an attorney who works at the Amarillo office. And we're here to give some information about the census. This video contains legal information, not legal advice. Anesha, why is the census important? Well, as you can see directly from the census website, the census is important because the results are US are used to determine the number of US House of Representatives members that each state gets based on that state's population. The census count also helps to determine how federal funding is divided among states, cities, and communities um, used for many programs important to individuals and families. Programs supporting public health, transportation, and community development also are based, uh, based on the census count. So in a nutshell, if you don't get counted, your community misses out on an important source of funding, which help, will help your schools, your hospitals, and projects in your community, from school lunches, to roads and highways, to families in need, census data helps shape the funding reaching our communities in many, many ways. So what is the census? The census is basically the process of counting all of the people who live in the United States and its five territories. Only one person should respond to the census for everyone living in that home. The person completing the census must be at least 15 years old and should be living in the home or place of residence and should know the general information about each of the other people living there. So why do we have a census? Basically, because the Constitution of the United States requires that a census of the population be done every 10 years. And what happens to my information? The law requires that all of the information that people provide on the census form to be confidential. Here's what the law actually says. This data protects your answers to the 2020 Sorry, let me rephrase. This law protects your answers to the 2020 census. Under Title 13, the Census Bureau cannot release any identifiable information about you, your home, or your businesses, even to law enforcement or to immigration agencies. The law ensures that your privacy data, private data is protected and that your answers cannot be used against you by any government agency or court. Violating Title 13 is a federal crime, punishable by prison time and or a fine up to $250,000. This information can be found at 2020census.gov forward slash en forward slash data dash protection dot html. So does the 2020 census ask a question about my status in the United States? No, the census does not include any question about your immigration status in this country. How can I respond to the census? There are basically three options. By phone at 844-330-2020, online or by mail. You will receive a paper questionnaire with a specific identification number just for your household number that should be used with responding to the census. This number is only used to match your response to the physical address so that you're not counted more than one time. Where do I go to respond to the census? Um, you can also go online at uh, https forward slash forward slash my2020census.gov to complete the census online. What if English is not my first language? The U.S. Census Bureau offers more language support for the 2020 census than ever before, online, by phone, or by mail. People can respond to the census online or by phone in uh, 13 languages. Uh, consequently, 99% of all households should be able to respond to the census in their language. Also, the Census Bureau will help people respond in 59 non-English languages by providing 
language guides to assist in filling out the English paper questionnaire. What questions do I have to answer on the census? The census basically has 12 questions. The first question is how many people were living or staying in this house, apartment, or mobile home on April 1st, 2020. The second question is, were there any additional people staying in this home on April 1st, 2020 that you did not include in question one? In this house uh, that you were living in on April 1st, 2020, was it a house, apartment, or mobile home? What is your telephone number? What is your name? What is your sex? What is your age and date of birth? What is um, your origin? Are you Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish? What is your race? And then it goes on for every other person. And how is that person related to person one? Thank you so much uh, for joining me today, Anisha. If you have more questions or if you need legal help, you can apply it at your local legal aid office. Legal Aid of Northwest Texas provides free legal help to low-income individuals and families in North and West Texas in legal areas such as employment, unemployment, housing, consumer law, public benefits, and family law. You can apply by calling 888-529-5277 or online at www.lanwt.org. Thank you.